Um, I got one more thing for you, and then uh, we're gonna get into some actionable items, so stick around. I, I wanna leave you guys, if you are out there and you've never sold virtually or you just want some methods, I'm just gonna give you some structures, gonna give you some uh, five structures of being able to sell virtually either completely free or very, very cheap. Just stick around for two more seconds, all right? Um, I wanna touch base on this, obviously, the non-tangible cost. and. Look, if anybody knows me, they know I really, really believe in not only virtual sales, the money it can give you, but the freedom it can give you and everything it represents, everything remote sales represents. That's what we do at Virtual Solar Club. That's why many of our members are now living in tropical destinations around the world, selling virtually into the US market and living the life they always wanted to, being able to travel freely, being completely location independent. Um, so I obviously wanna get into this because there's a non-tangible cost for having to wake up every single morning and knock a stranger's door in a certain area. And that cost for me will never be worth it. I have knocked so many doors. The only way you're ever gonna see me on the doors again is if I'm filming a video to be funny. Or maybe, maybe I'm with some solar guys and we have like a bet, like who can book the most appointments door to door in an hour. But I will never again since being in virtual for so long, closing so many deals on beautiful locations around the world, um, being potentially the only human in existence to have ever closed a solar deal virtually on every single continent on the planet, got the tattoo to prove it, closed the deal in Antarctica um, early 2020, right before COVID hit, thank God, got it before COVID, being part of the Seven Continent Solar Club. After doing that, after seeing what solar sales, remote solar sales, virtual solar sales was able to afford me in my location independence, how it changed my life, I will never unironically knock a single door again for solar in my entire life. And so when I look at the cost that people have to give when they're door knocking versus what they could do, what they could achieve, how their life could change doing virtual, it, it's so strange to me why everyone isn't doing it. And so, you know, that's why we try to be as loud as possible. That's why we try to um, throw events. I forgot to mention last week the reason why we didn't do a webinar, and maybe if you joined the podcast, because we had our Solar Villa event, right? Our Solar Villa, for those of you who don't know, we, we fly a bunch of virtual Solar Club members into a beautiful beachside villa. This year, it was uh, just north of Tulum, uh, white sand beaches, uh, chef cook meals, uh, seven days of pure virtual solar sales training and selling. Deals were made. Shout out Dylan, selling a deal uh, at the Solar Villa um, there. So we really do this. We try to be almost flamboyant with our, with our, our content to show people that it's possible. Right, enough of this BS talking, let's do it. Let's show people we're out there. Right? That's what we're all about. So a few things, some, some, some non-tangible costs about virtual, location independence. I don't wanna be locked down to the city I grew up in or the country that, that I grew up in. I'll never be able to leave because I build a foundation around me that requires me to be in a, a specific area every single day. And you might have a family right now and you're thinking, oh, well, maybe virtual is not me, so I might as well just knock because I have to be here with my family. Well, first off, you could travel with your family, but number two, why don't you just have a home office, right? How about you pick your family up and move to the state or the location you have always wanted to, but the only reason you couldn't is because you've been knocking doors and that's the only viable income that you have to support your family. Like door knocking, I I've knocked a million doors. It is great for what it can do for you, but we have better options now. Another thing is being able to sell into any market. Right? If your market's getting crushed, if the, the rates are low, if the, and net, net metering's not great, if the, the competition is super high when it doesn't need to be, stop putting this pain on yourself. Go sell virtually into another market that's, that's rainbows and butterflies. There's amazing markets around the US that are still un, completely untapped, only accessible to virtual solar salespeople, right? Um, then we've got these, obviously, the hours of wasted time every week driving between appointments I used to sell, you guys think you have it rough. I don't know if you know a bit about Australian landscape. We used to sell rural Australia out in Whoop Whoop. Whoop Whoop means it's just out in the boonies, right? We're talking an hour, two hour, three hour drive. And yes, I would do a two, three hour drive to a cancellation or a no show. Wow, that was rough. And anyone doing door to door in home right now, you know the feeling, damn, but you know, what happens when you get a no-show or a cancellation on virtual? Ring, 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 ring. You have reached the voicemail of, oh. 
That's it. Didn't drive, didn't waste gas, didn't get stressed out in traffic, didn't get sweaty in my, my shirt, stayed home in the air conditioning unit. Customer put the phone down, I have another 30, 45 minutes to be productive with anything I want, or, like I said, take a few steps out to a beautiful white sand beach, enjoy the sun, and be back before my next appointment. No more wasting hours, okay? This might not be important to you, but it's important to me. And finally, throw in tropical beaches there, because why not? I love a good tropical beach. Uh, and unless you're door knocking in Florida, or I guess maybe California, it's difficult to get tropical beaches while you're door knocking. All right. That's it. We're going to get into five actionable items here. Enough of the fluff. Uh, but if you guys do like what I'm saying, throw some fire emojis in here. If you are selling virtual already, by the way, and you're by a, a nice beach, let the crew know. Let me know what beach you're at because always, I'm always looking for the next uh, beach to sell virtually at. Um, and Natasha says, by the way, you're asking for a lawsuit if they're on the DNC. Yeah, Natasha, look, I, if, if you call someone that's on the, the do not call list, they have the ability to take things further and, and also everyone has the ability to take things further. They don't need to be on the do not call list to, to file a lawsuit. Um, but this is yet another barrier that people stop and they freak out. I saw a post the other day saying, hey, uh, you know, careful with your cold calling. You could get fined $5,000 for every single time you call someone on the DNC. It's such a fear mongering BS when it comes to, to cold calling. Um, anyone out there, don't let that be a barrier. Just because something is possible, doing it for 10 years with hundreds, thousands of reps, cold calling, millions of calls, completely cold. Guaranteed we called people, by accident of course, on the DNC list, never, never had an issue. If you're an individual, do not, do not let that be a barrier for you to get into virtual solar sales, right? Um, uh, Jimmy says, let's go. I'm by Melbourne Beach, Florida. Uh, you got me excited. I lived in Melbourne, Australia, but Melbourne Beach, that sounds nice. I uh, love it. All right, let's get into this. Five actionable items. I want you to take this. These are uh, methods that you could use. If, if you have no cash whatsoever and all you're going to take away is something, something Josh said that helped you just put some basic structure together for you to start cold calling, here we go. And uh, start selling solar virtually. This is for you. 